there is a very long course, or relatively long here in Denver, because it's mostly all par threes, called West Creek. And that's where we are. We're gonna play the back nine with discs that Foundation Disc Golf actually sent out to me. If you didn't know, Foundation Disc Golf does a monthly subscription box that they uh, linked me in on, which I'm super grateful for. And this one was a Foundation Lone Star collab kind of thing. And they sent three Lone Star molds, the Blue Bonnet here in Victor Two Plastic to me, a Bravo Texas Ranger, which is one of my favorite discs from Lone Star, and a Bravo Mad Cat here. These are very gummy. But we're gonna play these nine holes with just these three discs, and if I can't be par with them, then I'm gonna to have to give them away to you guys. The only caveat to that, also thanks Foundation for sending these, but the only caveat is sometimes these pars can be a little messed up because there's some very long holes. There's one actual par four on the back here, which is just over 720 feet, but there are some par fours that are in the mid fours. I will allow myself to elect to play those as par threes or par fours, but if I like to play them as a par four, I have to only throw the putter in mid on that hole. I cannot even touch the fairway. But our first hole here is behind those tree things, Mad Cat 9502, kind of Thunderbird. What I remember, more stable, and what I've heard, Bravo is even more stable. Um, and I had an Alpha one and it was beef, so we're gonna throw a flex line on this guy. Haven't thrown these discs before, but I really want, I just really wanted to throw them, which is why I'm making this video. So hope you enjoy and like it and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you guys a lot. Oh, great, awesome. Honestly, that's a putt. We'll take it. This little too zoomed in. And this Victor plastic. Eats up some dust. Also, I'm out of water, which is my voice sound horse. Sorry. Oh, I'm outside the circle, baby. I am a little bit right because going downhill, it's gonna slope to the left. Whew. Got it. Let's go. One down already. <laughs> On to hole two. All right, here's the first one that we're gonna elect to go mid range putter, 405 feet, 2301, 400 feet. I think we can knock out about 300. I gotta try to calm down though, because otherwise my timing gets jacked up and I just miss my brace completely. Whoa, that's kind of stable. Wow. I mean, that's gonna be putter, putter, birdie all day long. But maybe we should have just thrown the med cat for the birdie. <clears throat> nice little nose down, get a big skip. Oh, no skip, okay, made the right call. We got ourselves the birdie look. Nice little eagle throw in maybe. Drop. Oh, let's go. Please and thank you. Two down, on to three. Hole 12 here, 340, slightly uphill. Not a lot of wind, gonna be honest. Texas Ranger kind of solid disc. Bravo, it's a little domey, it's gonna glide. I'm gonna put a little ante on it. That slipped off my fingers, dang it. I mean, it is 340. I can't even imagine what would happen if it didn't slip off, off my fingers, but Mad Cat for the ace would be sick. Oh, I suck. Dang, 30 is short. I think if that doesn't slip, I'm a really happy man. Still happy. No! So sad. I think that was circle two. I probably should have stepped that boy. Well, we got an AC at the perfect round or Eagle, one of those par fours throwing a mid range. All right, hole 13, 354, behind that tree. So you wanna swing it wide and have it have a pushing, hyzering finish with the Mad Cat. Man, my hands get so chalky. Slight ante at the side of the tree. Or just flat and hard. Just get the nose angle down, man. Oh, it slipped too! It's actually gonna be really good though. Skip in. It's parked, but it slipped. <laughs> Let's go! Not bad for a little slippy slip. Mad cats are solid. I do think I need to start gripping them a little more because the Bravo plastic, because if I, I don't really use gummy plastics that much. And so this is like slipping a little bit easier. Grip into it, let it rip out of my hands, keep my head down. Bang, bang, bang. Birdie town. All right, this guy right here, par four. It's 460, they call it par four. This one's kind of believable, especially on the turnover, you need a bomb. Texas Ranger on the turnover. We're gonna get a bomb. We're gonna get an eagle. We're gonna go back to being perfect. Oh, that is so good. Oh my gosh. I might be in the 400 range, at least 350. That was crushed. All right, Udisc is calling us here, 332. 362, baby. I'm calling this Eaglesville. Don't, don't think about that too much. Oh, that would've been cool. Fail. 
I think if I was on Team Lone Star, I would pop with blue bonnets. They're the most similar to what I like, I think. All right, hole 15, all the way down there. 715 feet, par five, actually par four. All right, there's a Mando to the right of that pole that's kind of out there. Since it says par five, I wonder if I can just go, honestly, we're gonna play putter only par five. Putter only par five. Say that a bunch of times. I'll also throw the Mad Cats just to see if I can get a par five or if I can get a three with a nine speed on a whatever long hole. Leave this out straight, it's gonna fade, so we wanna put it a little ante, a little straight out there. That's nose up, but that is still down there about 275 to 300 feet. Mad cat. Like throwing that at the ground, I guess, eh? Great skip though, that's for sure birdie though. We are losing light, we got three holes after this, so we're gonna be moving. So much hassle, cause I stink! This is a big shot, this is probably almost 400 feet here. Maybe a little less, maybe close to 380, because I might have actually done it. That's a good shot. Really good shot. A little juiced. That putter can hold some torque. That's really nice. Oh, it's wild how fast it gets cold once the sun goes down. And so does my view of the chains. Birdie, putter only par five, birdie, baby. Get that on a t-shirt. Also, for everyone wondering why I moved, there you freaking go. All right, part four. It says 498. It's probably closer to 470. Actually kind of parked it today. I was stoked. We're gonna play the part four. Uh, Texas Ranger first. Oh, that thing turned now. That is such a straight disc. It's kind of mush, dude. Eagle throwing? Who knows? Blue bonnet's slightly stable, so you just throw it straight over that first little pylon and it goes in the basket. See, if I would've done what I said, it would've gone in just like this. Just like this. <laughs> I suck! Nah, I don't suck, I'm just joking. If it isn't another birdie. Some would say it's not, but I'm saying it is. I'm following the T-signs, baby. Hole 17, we are one off the pace of being perfect. Another par four, 416. I'm loving these pars. We're gonna putter only par four, get all the plosives in there. Now I wanna see if I can get the Mad Cat there, but I can't, cause it's far. I reset the Destroyer, but that's it. And a Mad Cat, not a Destroyer. <laughs> Interesting realization there. Yep, boosted. Bye -bye. Maybe 300 ish moving right, baby. Shoot. All right, time for another eagle to get back to perfect. Not another, the first, but another eagle chance. No, Anthony, you stinking stupid head. That's really not bad. No! <sighs> this is why I hate glow golf. That perception goes. There are literally no chains I could have looked at. Now we need the albatross on a par three. Yikes. That perception just goes, and then I always am like, oh, I don't want to juice it, so I'm a little baby boy. All right, this last one's about 370, par three, up the hill straight there. Teen off from here, but you gotta go like over a hill on some Annie, have it flex out. Way stinking nose up in 40 feet, shit! Almost as short as me, dude. Love when I just throw it super powerfully into the sky. Now I got a 55 footer. Blow. Good line though, I'm, ha I'm happy with that line. Forehand. Better forehand. Yep. No! A faithful six down. That was a cheater six down. I don't know if I wanna go pro, I can't be taking these parts or having fun rounds. Everything's gotta be serious, guys, serious. All right, subscribe to the channel, please. Like the video. If you don't do both those things, Bogey Monster's gonna get you next time that you go and play around, so. Hope you're not a little stitious or even superstitious. Okay, love you guys, bye.